goals are overrated i was having the same goal of every all india rank one student but despite working 10 to 12 hours every single day i can't able to secure all india rank one what i want to say here is more than hard work and more than your goals what matters is your system but i won't say that goals are completely useful goals are useful i still remember that one of my friend let's call him lebron james lebron james and me were basketball mates in my college and he was from uh, computer science department and it was very clear it was very clear that he want to go to us and he want to get settled there in us and now he is settled in us and on the other side i was like i will do the four years of btech and after that i would uh, write some government examination and i will get placed and you know what happens goals are not useless goals are overrated hard work is also overrated but what actually brings you success is system reading has become a part of my life since gate 2020 and i would say that despite working hard for 2 years i got two marks lesser than my first attempt my marks went from 50 to 48 so despite working hard why my marks reduced right is hard work really matters in this world uh, they say like talent matters in this world is really talent matters in this world hey men like me can be able to succeed in this world i had the same goal of getting all india rank 1 but despite working too hard why i can be able to get the results of all india rank 1 student i wish i knew this answer before the start of my gate preparation and this guy out here i'd like to show it to you This guy out here, he told me that Raghu, whatever you did is completely wrong. The intention to get success will work only if you work with the right strategies. And because of him, I would like to say that maybe it may upset a lot of you. Because of him, I was get able to get around 8.5 CGPA. Still not able to compromise my eight hours sleep. I used to play basketball every single day. I hit gyms regularly. and i post one to two videos in this youtube channel every week i overcome my introversion to extroversion living more intensely and happier than ever and all these credits goes to this guy and i would like to give you three book recommendations that i wish i would read before the start of my gate preparations to you so that's all this video is about james clear puts it that success is largely the mistakes you avoid the more you mistakes you avoid the more probability that you are going to win So that's the intention I made this video. So let's get started. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's me, Rog here again. Research call from IIT Madras. Welcome back to yet another video. If you are new here, this channel is all about uh, helping students uh, for gate examination and after gate examination to get good universities. And you know, I post sometimes videos about blog. Yeah, seriously. So if you are new here, consider. subscribing so let's get started the problem is we don't know how to learn when i was preparing my uh, gate i still remember that whenever i was stuck in a particular problem or whenever i got uh, you know when i was not able to understand a particular problem in the class i was like i feel discomfort and more importantly i got fear oh my god it is happening only to me and then with that particular fear i make mistakes i push harder you know and it leads to burn up and that's the last thing that you should do i'm going to show you a particular food taste that may really uncomfort to you you can look at this food taste and you can see here this is the match that is actually happening between magnus carlson and gary kasparov and gary kasparov was actually the grand master at that particular time so magnus carlson was playing against him and he was not in a very good position and everyone thought that gary kasparov is going to win and you can see here this guy started to roaming but of course it is looking like a mind game right he was playing mind games with gary kasparov but actually he is really understanding his brain he knows how his brain works and after you know what happened after he roams here and there he come back there and he got the idea the match everyone thought that gary kasparov is going to win was when to draw this only happens when you understand how your brain works right as barbara oakley clearly puts it the intention to learning is useful only if you go with the right strategies and if you know how to learn anything then you can do anything in your world right as jim quick puts it if knowledge is power then learning is your super power so in this book you can learn how brain actually works when it comes to learning how actually you can memorize how can you give test and what is spaced repetition all the things that you need to know to know how brain learns and how you can perform effectively 
So that's my first recommendation for you. Mind for numbers, number one. Book number two, I would suggest you guys is great. So this book was Why Passion and Resilience Are the Secret to Success by Angela Duckworth. So I still remember that there is one friend of mine, let's call him Elon Musk. I had friends like Elon Musk and Bill Gates only. So let's call him Elon Musk and Elon Musk was very talented. Talented in such a way that whenever a professor asked a question in a class, he threw rockets through all of them, right? So whatever the question, he answers all of them. And I feel bad and I feel I was looking at him feeling disappointed because I was doing my second year and I am repeating obviously so I should give some answers you know even I should try something but I was not trying anything. But let me tell you something. Yes, Elon Musk is talented obviously. But that doesn't mean that I am not talented. And more than talent, effort counts twice. So this Angela Duckworth, what she says is there is a formula in that book. Uh, she says like effort multiplied by talent is equal to skill and skill multiplied by your effort is equal to achievement. So in order to get achievement, your effort counts twice. Now you may have the post in Raghu, you tried two years and in the second year you had uh, worked twice as hard, you worked 12 hours a day and still not able to get results, right? So now I am going to say something that is really important to many of your people. If you have not decided to share this video up to this point, I would highly recommend you to share this video. And I won't recommend you should share this video for this one concept that is called deliberate practice. Yes, I put effort but I haven't put the effort in the right way, right? So that's what I wanted to say. Now I am going to tell you a story how I prepared my gate examination. Then you can really understand why I made the mistake. So in the first year, I was like, uh, I was new to this particular gate and I was uh, not known anything, right? So I was spending more time to understand the basic concepts itself. So in class itself, if you look at in uh, gate coaching and all, so I was from AS Academy and they have two books. One is the volume one and another one is the volume two. So volume one book is all about your understanding. So the professor will come, he will teach the concept and to practice that concept, there will be some questions in the volume one. And we are going to solve that, we will get up used to it, right? So that is what a volume one is about. And I was finding very difficulty to complete that itself. And if you ask me how many full length test series that I had given during my first, I, I, have, I gave around 4 to 5 because I was not having enough time to, to learn the particular uh, basics itself. So it was taking long time for me. But in the second time, I was really confident and I was like, I was planning some uh, 100 to 200 test series full length test. And uh, that, that does not happen by the way. Uh, so I was uh, preparing, I was so confident and I made a mistake. What mistake I made was, uh, instead of practicing the previous gate year questions, what I did was I bought a app which is a test book and in that test book there was a particular uh, section which is the uh, previous year gate questions. You can write the previous year gate questions uh, in a test series form and I thought like okay, it is a win-win for me, I can write a test also, I can also solve the previous year gate questions. So that is that is a good one, I won't say it is a bad one, but I planned for around 100 to 150 full length test series, but uh, in the end what happened was I gave only 30 full length test series and that to only the previous year gate questions. So that is a real mistake that I was done. Why it was a mistake? One, the questions that the previous year gate question has already been solved by me and it was or either it was being solved by the professor in the class. Either way, I know most of the questions and only few questions like uh, for 15 to 20 marks only the questions are going to be difficult and I learned that. So that is the thing, like so there is uh, there is no difficulty in solving for me. I would easily score around 70 to 75. It's not a ghost but that's the truth. But the real reason I failed was this. There was nothing difficulty for me. So now I'm going to tell something that is deliberate practice. Now let me tell you how these chess players practice. So these chess players, how they will practice is, they will learn about the strategies in the chess and they will test it against a particular opponent. They will practice. So once they will learn, they will practice. And they will be not like practice, 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 practice. They will, after practicing, after some time, 
they will come back and they will learn something new they will learn something advanced and then whatever they learn they will practice they will play against some opponent then after that they will get some insights and then after they will come and they will learn so this deliberate practice right so every time they learn something they will practice after practicing they will go to next level and they will learn something new so this new learning after every stage is what deliberate practice is so if you guys also wanted to crack it i would highly recommend you to buy some good test series and no one sponsored me for this video for any test series but uh, uh, you know you, you guys uh, know that because uh, when i was writing there was many good test series i won't say which one is the best one but i would definitely say that don't write previous year gate questions that is absolutely the worst decision you will do buy a good test series which has questions very difficult to you uh, to solve and it should be relevant to you also there should not be questions like out of portion right it should be your portion and it should, it should be difficult to solve right so that is the main criteria you have to look so you have to buy a test series and you solve it right whenever you solve a particular question and it is difficult and you can't able to solve appreciate yourself that is the way you are going to learn if you are solving in that particular test series congratulations you are really talented i appreciate you even if you can't able to solve that question say yourself oh my god thank you very much take that question solve it right so in that way you are learning something new and you are giving your brain something you know and uh, deliberate practice i would say so in that way if you do that deliberate practice again and again for all the subjects you will be in a master to answer all the question and if you practice like this i promise you are going to get very good marks you know you are going to be in banner or something like that so in this book you will learn about why passion and resilience are the real secret to success why talent is not the only thing that defines success because i would say that this point is not only for gay even if you wanted to be an actor a cricketer or a star you have to do deliberate practice and it takes lot of time right so you have to have the patience and you have to be more passionate about it and you need to show some resilience so this book i think everyone should read in order to succeed in their life so this is the second book i would recommend to you that is grit so did you ever see a guy let's say he is an uh, prospective all india rank one student and he was like he need don't, he don't need any motivation uh, preparing all the time for him preparation is very easy he will wake up and he will study he will go to eat and then he will study 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 he was a particularly dedicated his life to it on the other hand if you look at me i was like used to put the believer song Um, for motivating myself to get you know get myself to take the pen to take the pen itself i i need believer song charles dogging the author of power of habit he told like the difference between who you are and who you wanted to be is what you wanted to do and habits are really important so what is habit right so i would i, I would like to ask a simple question to you and uh, i will give some five seconds you should uh, go and comment did you ever need motivation to brush in the morning to watch tv to eat your favorite food to watch you know to watch those movies <laughs> so really ever need that you have to be honest with me and uh, i give you 3 seconds 1 2 3 okay i i think uh, i'm reading your comments right now i see Okay, you see, no, you. Okay, yeah, you are right. You don't need any motivation to do that, right? You don't need any believer song, and you don't need to say yourself like uh, something like that to motivate yourself. And that is my friend habit. So James Clear he told clearly what is habit. It is a behavior that has been repeated enough times to become automatic. The ultimate purpose of habits is to solve the problems of life with as little energy and efforts as possible. Habits are really powerful. Once we develop a habit, it is very difficult for us to give up a habit. For example, we take a particular uh, bad habit. Let's say we are uh, start smoking, and it's very difficult for us to give up smoking, right? So, once we develop a habit, it's very difficult to give up a particular habits. So, here is the thing. I made one to two videos every week for this YouTube channel, and I play basketball, and I go to gym often, 
and I study when I wanted to and I will finish all the tasks on time and I do all the stuff that is really required and all these things 90% of the time there is no need of any motivation I do it with happiness and I do it with habits but I would say that remaining 10% I have to push sometime I was like man there is no subscribers enough you know you are not getting enough money why, why are you putting videos on this channel something like that will come so at that time I have to motivate myself I have to watch video here. so that is only 10% of the time but the remaining 90% of the time it was not like that if you understand how a habit works you can change anything man literally if you are a smoker you can become a non-smoker if you drink you can become sober if you are a procrastinator you can become a non-procrastinator right? habit building is one of the essential thing in our life and we do it really wrong if you understand the science of how habit works we can literally change anything so for this i would recommend two books one is the power of habits by charles duhigg and another one is the atomic habits here it is atomic habits by james clear and uh, if you don't have time read this book james clear atomic habits because he told four simple step by step way that you can implement in your life to get results to get good habits so i think it is very easy to implement that book is more about how habits work how great organizations they are using this brain neuroscience to their technology so if you are on the promotion and if you wanted to go your brain stuff then you can read the book but for now if you want to build habit how you it works easily na step by step it is there so you should read this book to build habits and that's the three books guys for you i wish these books if i read before my gate examination definitely i would have get all in their rank one yeah i said all in their rank one and from most probably i won't make this video if i read these books before my gate preparation so that's this video is all about and i told you about the bonus tip how many of you remember i don't know and it was about a mindset change like uh, if whenever you are going to do a task and it was uh, not easy and it takes uh, really lot of time and hard work and it will give you really good result right that's why we are doing hard work then you should change that particular scenario to oh my god this is going to be fun so that mindset shift is really something that really changed my life right i was like whenever i started my youtube channel i was like oh my god this is going to be fun i know like to get a thousand subscriber it is going to hell lot hell lot of money hell lot of time it is going to be take and but i think like it is going to be fun making videos is fun right you are you and me are my best friends i have an opportunity to make friends with you now i'm talking to you right so that kind of positive mindset is something that uh, it is going to really upgrade your performance and you will succeed more if the person with positive attitude is going to succeed more than one with negative attitude so that's the bonus tip guys be happy be positive and uh, i will see you in the next video share this with your friends especially if you have any friend or a brother who is preparing for any other competitive exam just share this message smiling and uh, don't forget to enjoy bye bye